Oh my god, this is so cool. Ah! Alright, I'm gonna finally find out who I am. <gasps> That's her now. Hi, I'm Taz and in this series, I'm going to be exploring the world of aesthetics. I was introduced to aesthetics about two years ago by my good friend Carolyn. This is all very new to me. I don't really dress up, but I do find the whole world of aesthetics really fascinating. And it's something I would love to explore and maybe learn something new about myself along the way. In this episode, we are exploring the world of fantasy core. I recently watched the first episode of Wheel of Time. It made me want to try this out and give it a real go. So I have invited my friend Carolyn to come join me and help me through this, guide me through fantasy core. Hopefully bring out my more explorative dress up side. Introducing you to my friend Carolyn. Hey. hey. Oh, we're keeping that in. So this is Carolyn. Doesn't Hi. she look like a real life princess? Her hair Aww. is amazing. Also just sings on cue, don't you? So if I just go... Uh, ah, ah. <laughs> How did we meet, bro? <laughs> I um, wrote an email to, to Taz, inviting her to Poland to... Stay with you. Yeah, stay with me. Just a complete stranger. No biggie. Yeah. <laughs> And uh, she agreed. Guys, she's not a serial killer. And she's here. She's real. What the hell? <laughs> so I flew to Poland and I stayed with Carolyn. I let Taz dress up in my apartment as many different characters. Oh my God! I feel like a big kid right now. I never play dress up ever. But I think also what was really interesting is you made me you changed my perspective on it all. So how would you describe fantasy core? Um, so fantasy core to me uh, is all about escapism, right? It's about exploring yourself in a different world. It's exploring yourself through a character that is not you, but you embody this character mm. to learn something new about yourself, right? And actually that's quite beautiful because it helps you explore parts of you that you normally wouldn't or yeah. um, helps build confidence and you get to explore your imagination and creativity and I feel like that shouldn't just be kept for when you're kids. I've learned so much about myself through all of this and I, I really hope you, you Yeah, too. I know, <laughs> I know, because I feel like all I ever am is me. <laughs> so it would be interesting to see what would I be... Bro, imagine me being mysterious. Ooh. I feel like I'm so like, what you see is what you get. But imagine me being like an evil villain. You know the character Moraine in the show, We Have ah, Time? Yes. So I really liked her costume and I, th I like her posture. I like how she carries herself. Okay. And I think you could embody a very similar character. Oh, really? So okay. I brought the costume. Oh, I really? Hope, yes, I hope you're gonna oh, like it. Okay. <laughs> I'm really excited to see what you've done. Because I actually haven't, I haven't seen I it. know. Okay, let's explore Fantasy Core. Yes, let's do it. Okay, let's do it. Ah. Oh. <laughs> How do you feel? <laughs> I feel kind of weird, I'm not gonna lie. It's so different. I feel like I'm in a theatre show. Yeah. I like the way it flows. Yeah, and it brings... You know what? I feel very yeah. regal. That's yeah. what I feel. It, very it is regal. both historical and magical, which is the essence of fantasy oh, we core, love that. right? Now we're gonna get the mirror reveal, and I'm gonna be like... Da, 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 da. Oh, wow! Okay, so that's what I look like. Oh, I love the skirt. Look how nice... Oh my god, I'm ready to go to a medieval ball. This is outfit number one. What do you think? Da, 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 da. Ooh, this I... one is so much more fun. <laughs> Guys, check out these sleeves. Has oh, now that's a moment. Oh, oh wow, okay. So you know what, I'm vibing with this one a lot. Like, I don't know what's happening in my hands right now, but I just feel like I should move them like this. Yeah, yeah, should... And it's not even me. I don't know who this is, but whoever this is, it's really coming out. One, two, three, go. Oh, wow, okay. Oh, wow. Oh my God, bro, this is actually crazy. Right? Oh, I love the sleeves. Right. Guys, I would recommend anyone and everyone to try this out because I don't know what's happening to me right now, but I'm kind of feeling it. I think we should go for this one. Okay, so this is the outerwear? Yeah. Oh, okay. Wow, okay, I do like it. I really like it. Can you do that? Oh my God, this is so cute. Do the hood moment. I just covered my entire face. We love that. Whoa, okay. Oh my god, this is so cool. I'm ready to like cast spells on everyone. Hi guys. 
It's me. It's just me. I haven't quite built the character yet. I think we're on stage one. I've, I feel like I've got the outfit, right? I'm really happy with this outfit. I don't know who she is, but whoever she is, I'm really feeling her right now. Oh my God, doesn't she look so cool? I'm loving the layers. I don't know what I'm doing with my hands. I'm like trying to do something mystical and mysterious. Come through, child. Oh, damn, who is she? You look so good. I decided to go for a like more sidekick energy. So you're gonna help me? You're gonna yeah. guide me through my quest? Yeah. Yes, yes. Wow. We need to find out who she is. Who right? am I? The story of my life, really, to be honest with you. All right, I'm gonna finally find out who I am. Isn't that crazy? So I would say for your makeup, and as I'm seeing this outfit, your makeup should tie this whole thing together. So just something that will bring out the mysterious character that we're trying to do here. Okay. So I would say some mm -hmm. bronzer, brown on the eyes. I feel like I'm just poking my own. I think I would, I would be able to do this without a mirror uh, now. At really? this point, yeah. At this point, yeah. Oh my God. And then there's me like using my fingers and just poking my eye. Like, are we doing eyeliner? Oh, wish me luck, guys. I don't know how makeup beauty gurus do this. Ah, oh, I got it on me. <laughs> I inhaled that. Great. And that is my beauty tutorial. <gasps> oh, I've never had freckles before. I feel cute. Do I look like really animated? You, you look fantasy core 100%. Really? Embodied? Okay. Yes. I'm going to try and practice doing this more by myself. Two braids, so one here, one here, and then they join in the back. Wow, okay. right, right. You know what's crazy? I never do anything with my hair. I don't even brush it, which is great. <laughs> That's bad. Yeah, because Carolyn was asking me for a hairbrush, and I literally had to panic and be like, do I even own one? Ooh, I like it. Thank I do you. look like your sidekick. You are the main one and I'm the sidekick. <laughs> we should dress up like this all the time. This is totally fantasy core. This is us being our elevated selves, you know? Okay. I, I want to like go out now yeah. like this. You do? No, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying that from the comfort of my home. Okay, okay. And then we go outside and we're like, I want to go back home. I think we need one last thing to tie okay. this whole thing together. Okay. Which is this. Oh, that's something. Whoa, that is so pretty, bro. Okay, so now my outfit is officially complete. Yay! Yay! This is what the fantasy core version of me would look like. Yes. This looks really good, I think, yeah. This is making Carolyn's um, dreams come true. Yes. Who would have thought when we first met it would lead to this? <laughs> I feel like I look the part, but now I really want to feel the part and I want to get into character. Who is she? Who is this yeah, beautiful, beautiful yeah. person, right? What's her story? Yeah. Well, you know, I, one thing I was thinking about when I was like putting everything on is I feel like this character is quite mysterious. Mm -hmm. The whole point of it is escapism and right. trying something new. Yeah. So I kind of want this character to be different to how I normally am. That's how Because I want to explore yeah. Yeah. Some, a side of me that something I wouldn't normally. New, right? Yeah. Okay, so what's my name? What do you think when you see this? Okay. <laughs> uh, what do you think about Alicia? Oh, she's an Alicia, is she? <laughs> okay. So. Okay. Okay, I, I, I like that. You like okay, that? You know oh, okay, what? Okay. I like that. I think we're going to go for Alicia. So Alicia, okay, yeah. um, she's been through a lot. She Ooh. really has. Basically, her mother passed away. Ooh. Either she was killed or we don't know. But her mum was trying to protect her from knowing everything. Okay. So she sent her message through a stone. Wow. I know. I'm really... Work with me here. Work with me. I'm going to go with it. You told me to use my imagination, okay, so I'm really... Are you really... doing this for the first time? Because yeah, this sounds no. great. Well, it sounds great. And maybe I should be a fantasy writer. So I could be your trusted sidekick. sidekick Carla. Is Carla oh, okay? Oh, we love that. So, Alicia uh, and Carla. Yeah. We like that. Okay. Yeah. Okay, let's Sick. go. Let's figure out After who... you. Yeah, okay. <laughs> We're going on a quest, baby. You know how you got that stone mm. that your mother left you, right? Mm -hmm. This is actually just a part of a bigger stone. And your job today, I mean, Alicia's job, job today, is to find the missing piece okay. of the stone. All right, it's time to get my act on. Start from now, I'm no longer Taz. I'm Alicia. So, 
a crystal shop, a magical shop, is a big part of any fantasy story, right? Mm -hmm. And we're in one right now. Mm -hmm. So let's look around for some okay. things that call to you. So, for example, rose quartz, right? Mm -hmm. Look. It's a stone of universal love. Blue lace is also nice. It's a mirror of family. family. You know what? The bracelet is... Can you put this on? Yeah, yeah. Also, it's calming, right? Mm. I could do with a bit of calming, to be honest. Oh my God, centers those who are unable to stop talking or who speak without thinking. Wow. Yeah, we're taking this. Okay, I think Alicia needs this one. <gasps> I think I found something. Look what it says on here. It says, mother of pill bearing shells. Maybe that's a clue. Maybe. It's a sign. Mm -hmm. It says the word mother in it. Detective. Yeah, Alicia's a really good detective, isn't she? And I always talk about myself in the third person. Oh, it's said to enhance feelings of peace, compassion, and love. <gasps> I think we're on the right track. Avalon Shell is an excellent companion when needing guidance. Honestly, it's like my mother is calling to me. <gasps> That's her now. Let's go. <gasps> Look at this one. No. See how it still glistens with some energy? And yours, since it's got separated, it's much more dull. When it got separated, it's no longer as potent with magic. Can you feel the energy? I feel the energy. You feel it? Really? I feel it. See? So I think that's the one that we were looking for. Mm -hmm. You know what? Five minute job. <laughs> Sorted. <laughs> So the fantasy core enthusiasts really like LARPing, right? LARPs are those events where many people gather and they visit like a castle, for example, and then they play their characters, ah, just like okay. you played Alicia today, in a beautiful medieval setting, right? So it feels more real because you're with other you're people. You're immersed. in that world. You're yeah. Im totally immersed. Okay, so it feels like a real yeah. world. Yeah. I would love to go to a LARPing oh. event one day. Maybe that's the beginning of Fantastic I mean, Court I know, I feel like baby step. I'm going to take like, it to every event of mine. Wow, well, we went zero to 100 very quick. <laughs> I don't think I'm in touch with my imagination as much as people who are in the fantasy core world, mm -hmm. but I, I do like it. I feel like today I got like a little taste of it. Right. And like I got like a little tease of like, you know, trying the costumes. It's not about being serious and always, yeah. you know, it's just about exploring a different side of yourself and mm. pretending. It's been nice to explore something that you enjoy and to be like, you know what, this is something that means a lot to you and it makes you really happy. And I might not fully understand it because it's new to right. me and I might feel a bit out of my comfort zone mm. and joke about it and whatnot, but like, it's a very beautiful thing and right. seeing people's reaction to it and how it makes them happy and like I do like the dress up stuff right. it's not my typical but it's fun <gasps> yes and also we got oh bracelets. yes yes so mine you know my one is all about what did you say neurotic calm the neurotic energy <laughs> yeah I think I definitely need this thank you so much for doing this of course and um, wish me luck for the next episodes because we're doing more aesthetics Ooh. and um, but I feel much better about it now I feel like I'm more like ready for it you tried so. a very demanding aesthetic so everything okay. now is gonna be a breeze, a breeze. You know? it's gonna yeah. be a breeze I'm flying yeah. through it okay amazing well, thank so you so you love the experience right yes you're of course oh. anything with you I love I did it because it makes you happy, and if you're happy, I'm happy. Here's to a great day of exploring fantasy core. Hey! Cheers! I look all like medieval on the outside, and then I've got like joggers on on the inside. That's the secret. <laughs>